delighted to inform all my fellow countrymen that the first oil has been extracted yesterday. There is work started on this in 2016-17, then there were some delays on account of COVID. But I'm sure that out of the 26 wells there, four wells are already operational. We will not only have gas also in a very short period of time, but by May and June, we hope to be able to produce 45,000 barrels per day, which will be 7% of our total crude oil production and 7% of our gas production. So I want to congratulate ONGC and all those who have made it possible. Another well has been opened in the KG Basin by ONGC. This is ONGC's flagship deep sea project in the Krishna Godavari Basin in Bay of Bengal, which will help it augment production of crude oil and natural gas. Earlier this year, in January, ONGC had started producing oil, which is converted into fuels like petrol and diesel in refineries from the KG DWN 92x2 or KG D5 block. In an exchange filing, the company made the announcement on August 24, 2024, although it hasn't clarified how much the new well is producing. With this, ONGC also successfully commissioned its gas export line from the offshore to onshore terminal. The ONGC block sits right next to Reliance Industries' KG D6 block in the KG Basin, which has a number of discoveries that have been clubbed into clusters. It is located 35 kilometers off the coast of Andhra Pradesh in water depths ranging from 300 to 3,200 meters. The discoveries in the block are divided into cluster 1, 2 and 3. Cluster 2 is being put to production first. As per ONGC's original plan, oil production for cluster 2 should have begun by November 2021 but was delayed because of the COVID pandemic. After that, ONGC set May 2023 as the first cluster 2 oil production deadline but then extended it to August 2023 and thereafter extended the flow of first oil every month with last deadline announced being December 2023. Oil finally started flowing from January 7, 2024. Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas Hardeep Singh Puri in a post on X said that oil production commenced from the fifth well in January 2024 with four of 13 wells already flowing. Gas production is also advancing with three of seven wells online and six water injection wells enhancing output. All wells are expected to be opened by March 2025. As per ONGC, the peak or maximum production from the field is expected to be 45,000 barrels of oil per day and over 10 million standard cubic meters per day of gas. In an investor call on August 6, ONGC director Vivek Tangaukar had stated that the firm was producing 12,000 BOPD and 0.4 MMSCMD of gas from the eastern offshore block. This production was from four wells. Gas output is expected to reach 6 MMSCMD by March 2025. ONGC has drilled 26 wells on the field in total. Out of these, 13 are all producing and 7 gas producing. ONGC has hired floating vessel Armada Sterling 5th owned 70% by SPOG or the Shapurji Palonji Oil and & Gas and 30% by Malaysia's Bumi Armada for producing oil from below the seabed. The FPSO of Floating Production Storage and Offloading Vessel Armada Sterling 5 had been waiting to receive oil since January 2, 2023 after she was hooked up and is now being used regularly.